Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be part three in my Civilization VI uh, playthrough. Uh, if you haven't watched the first two parts, you might want to go back and do that just so you can see how things got where they are. Uh, as you can see, I rolled uh, Victoria, uh, and that's uh, an interesting uh, roll. Um, I'm playing on the Prince difficulty, that's the middle difficulty, the so-called standard. That's basically where, uh, if I understand correctly, the AI has neither an advantage nor a disadvantage compared to the player. Uh, which means that the player is probably going to be substantially uh, uh, advantaged over the AI, since the AI is generally a little bit stupid. Now, anyway... Uh, so this is turn 134. Uh, so just I'm just going to move right along here. Uh, as you can see, I've got a number of my cities out here. Uh, I'm a little bit hemmed in here on this particular uh, chunk of land. Uh, I might want to uh, try dropping a city over here. And maybe one up here. Uh, but I'm not going to prioritize that. I should have enough uh, to uh, keep things moving. Um, so I get a great merchant. This is uh, actually a good merchant. Uh, so then I can go for a resource that's not in my borders. And uh, uh, have a copy of it. Um, now I... I don't see any here. Um, no, I don't see any of them. So that's um, probably less uh, less helpful than it might have been. But uh, either way, uh, it gives it, or it'll give me a second copy of something that uh, I've already got too. Anyway, uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to build a commercial hub in London. Uh, I'm doing that because uh, my gold is uh, suffering here. So I want to avoid uh, messing that up. Uh, you know, I think I can't go there. No. I think I'm going to go for this one. Uh, and it's, uh, it really doesn't matter, but I'm going to uh, use the uh, merchant. You know, there's no point not. Uh, let's see here. Um, right. Uh, cartography would probably be a good choice, as would astronomy. But I don't want to get too far behind on uh, other things. So uh, printing would be good from a religious standpoint. And the Forbidden City is nice to get an extra wild card policy. Uh, but I'm going for I'm going for construction. I I don't want to get too far behind on some of those technologies, right? Um, Okay, I'm also going to do a commercial hub here. Now, is it... Yeah, I'll, I'll put it here. Uh, so, uh, ideally, I'd like to get my production stuff up, the industrial zones, um, especially in London. Uh, but uh, I do need to also make sure that... Uh, that I don't end up going negative on gold because that'll cause even more trouble than being a little behind on production. And this is only turn 136, so there's at least 200 turns before it's absolutely critical that everything is fully uh, up on production. Uh, let's see.
Yeah, Manchester, I think, would be the uh, right one there. It's uh, extra production. Uh, I, I do have space to... I don't have space to get another trade route out, so... Uh, but I do want to have the maximum production in the capital, because that's where I'm going to build the uh, uh, spaceport. Uh, right, so I'm going to park that guy. I forgot, I sent him all the way over there in the previous part. Anyway, moving along. Uh, the turns are probably going to start taking longer uh, between turns during the AI processing. Uh, and that's just because there's more going on. Um, now I have to make a choice. Um, military engineering is something I want to do, do real quick here. Because I want to know if I've got the NITER resource. If I don't, then... Uh, I, I have to take a different tactic. Uh, but if I do, then I can uh, have a much stronger uh, military operation. I don't have to make a hard push to get to the more modern units that don't require uh, NITER, you know, the modern gunpowder units. Anyway, uh, moving along. Uh, I also want to uh, get up to steel um, relatively quickly. Uh, steel uh, gives you uh, urban defenses, which uh, are walls, but you don't have to build them. Okay, uh, this is a good uh, scientist. Um, so I'll just uh, have to bring them up where I've got the maximum number of mountains surrounding a, a tile. Um, now, where is that? Uh, anyway, uh, okay, Bristol. Uh, right. Okay, uh, production buildings. Yes, I definitely need to get those up. Okay, so here I've got one, two, three, four mountains. Right? Uh, here I got one, two, three, four mountains. Uh, here is one, two, three. Yeah, it's so four mountains is the best I'm likely going to get. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's four, four. Yeah, four is uh, is what I'm most I'm I'm likely to get here, the best. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So we'll send them over there. Um. So that's actually uh, you know quite nice. Um, uh, is if you you uh, take a look here. Uh, if I call this up, uh, which one am I researching? Uh, so that's like 390 science, so this is probably going to be two uh, techs. Uh, oh, I can put up another trade route, so that's good. I've got positive gold now, that's good. Oh, that's because the, uh, the, the um, uh, commercial hub has gone up. Um, um, the London's going to have to grow a bit before I can build another district, so uh, I'm going to build the uh, market there. Uh, you know, more gold as I, I want to keep. I want the gold per turn to be up substantially. So here, so it's it's 250 science for every adjacent mountain, uh, and there's four adjacent mountains, so that's uh, pretty good. Uh, so that completed military engineering. Now, what to go for here? Uh, uh, printing. Uh, let's look at the tech tree. That would be a good option. Now, I want to get up to metal casting at least. Um...
So I'm going to have to go for stirrups, and then ultimately, I think, yeah, st uh, yeah, definitely. I, I got to uh, catch up on some of this stuff, so, uh, where is it? Stirrups. Uh, okay, so moving along. Uh, oh, I can buy an Apostle. Ooh. I don't see anyone trying to send missionaries. That's actually somewhat impressive. Um, actually, I don't have Niter, do I? I don't see any. And neither does my friendly ally have it. Okay, so I'm going to have to go exploring to get any. Um, so I'm going to uh, grab military tactics uh, for the uh, pikeman. So, uh, I, I might not build any, but I'm going to uh, grab that tech anyway. Uh, I think I'm going to have to start getting out some uh, builders to improve things here. So, uh, oh, apparently my cities are built properly now. Uh, you may recall last time uh, they weren't. <laughs> uh, probably because I didn't have enough um, districts out. Um, castles. Uh, okay. You know what? Uh, I'm going for cartography, and then I'm going going to go for getting uh, uh, frigates out. Uh, yeah, I'll build the market there as well. Uh, I want to make sure that I don't run out of gold. You know, that's that's pretty critical. I'm going to get a couple more trade routes up as soon as I can. Uh, I need. I want to get one out to Sheffield so I have a road. Um, so that'll be uh, important. Um, right. And I definitely want to... Uh, uh, okay, a builder's going to be five. Yeah, I'm going to do a builder here. It was, uh, the sheep here uh, could stand improving and a couple of things there. So I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to get my core here uh, uh, built up, and uh, that should uh, uh, that should get things rolling along here. Um, I should probably do a builder here as well, uh, and then I'll do the universities, uh, so that my science gets uh, rolling along a lot better. Because I really, really need to out-tech these guys. Let's take a look here at the uh, victory conditions. I'm currently leading on victory, um, but not by much on science. And I'm leading on culture, uh, but that doesn't really say much. And leading on domination probably just means I have a stronger military. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't really care about religious victory as long as I keep the other guy, like the uh, leading the leader's um, uh, religion out, I can uh, stave off a loss there. Okay, so uh, I, I've got exploration. So now what am I looking for? Uh, well, let's look at the civics tree. What is coming up here that's going to be good? Um, well, I probably want to get diplomatic service at the very least, so I'll uh, I'll run for that. Uh, that's going for recorded history uh, first. That's that's okay. Um, right, I'm going to build the dockyard, which is the uh, English replacement for the harbor. Uh, okay. Uh, now I can change governments to merchant republics, so I'm going to do that. Uh, and the reason for that is it gives me uh, some uh, 
it gives me more policy slots. Now, um, let's see here. I can take a discount on unit upgrades, which might be worth doing. Um, this uh, newly trained builders get two extra actions is, is actually really nice. Uh, I think I'm actually going to take that one. Uh, under percent uh, extra housing. Uh, yep, yeah, that's that's cool there. Uh, so this gold for each envoy um, is actually uh, can be very useful, and I may take that one. But I'm going to take a look at the rest of these here. This one's probably worth taking. So I'm going to. Uh, now, uh, stronger city defense and, and attack, that can be useful. Um, but I don't think there's anything here that is absolutely critical for the game I've chosen to play this time around. So, I'm going to take the gold for Envoys one. So once it settles here, you can see I'm up to 22 gold per turn as a result of that, and that is nice. Um, so I really want to build the uh, dockyard here in London as well. Uh, this will be a really good spot for it, actually. I probably should have put the uh, commercial hub here. Um, right, so I've got... Now with Merchant Republic, you get two extra trade routes, so I've got four more I can uh, set up. Okay, so what have I got here? Square rigging gets me uh, frigates. So I'm going to go for that one. Uh, even though that's 16 turns, I'm going for that one. Uh, because it looks like I need to go exploring, so I'm going to go exploring. Uh, now here, production. Uh, so the workshop. And here, right, so I'm going to uh, build some farms there. I want to uh, get the uh, uh, the growth rate up for London because I'm going to need a city of size 13 or 16 by the time everything settles. Uh, so I'm going to uh, work toward that here. Uh, What's this? Oh, monastery. Uh, I definitely want farms, not the uh, the monastery. Um, okay, yeah, we'll take friendship with with him. Uh, that means you know, he's he's a close neighbor, and doing friendship with him means he won't attack for a while, and and, that, and that's uh, actually a really good uh, state of affairs. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, right, a university. Um, and that's a builder, so I'll improve the sheep. Um, right, so I'll do that. Uh, and then I think I'll go over and improve this sheep here, because uh, I don't have a pasture there. Uh, and that should get London rocking along pretty well. And you can see the three farms together here has got me an extra food on the one, so that's that's good. Uh, right. Uh, now, if I want to be uh, doing the culture thing at all, I probably should be building uh, a theater square. Uh, but maybe an entertainment complex would be a good option as well. But I'm going to go for the theater square here. Uh, what is that? Huh. Right. Well, you know, I'm going to put it there. Uh, okay. So over here. It's even suggesting to put a pasture there, which is 
quite clever of it. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'm going to try and move through this relatively quickly here uh, without, uh, like, what's the point of this? Uh, that's one of the annoying things about civilization is the, uh, the bragging and needling bits that the uh, AIs do. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to build a couple of farms. Uh, that will help uh, the, uh, the food situation. Um, right. Uh, I think I've got enough gold to buy a trader. So uh, anyway. So I'll repeat that one. And... I don't have enough for a trader yet. Okay. I'm a couple short. Okay. Uh, so, a farm. Then up here will be a farm. Okay. So, what have we got here? Oh, someone built the great library. Uh, so whereas in uh, Civ 5 and previous you'd be starting to get worried with uh, everybody else building all the wonders, it's not nearly as much of an issue uh, in Civilization 6. And the fact that wonders take up a whole tile uh, means that uh, uh, they actually tend to be more detrimental than you might expect. So... Uh, while I built a couple of wonders, uh, I don't necessarily need to uh, rush them, right? Uh, you, know, you have to think about it. D does it fit your strategy? Uh, and if it does, then sure, go for it. But uh, just because, but you're not going to be building wonders just to build wonders. Unlike in, say, Civ Five, where you could put 37 wonders in one city. Uh, you really can't do that here, uh, and that's that's perfectly reasonable. Uh, right, okay, so what have I got here? I can't build boats here because I can't build a harbor. I need a population of 10, so 11 turns on that. Uh, what I... Um, I'm... Well, I'll just build the traders then. That, that's what I'll do for a few turns there. I, I need them anyway. Okay, so that's got my uh, workshop out. I'll, I'll build the armory there as well. So as you can see, this can be quite tedious. I got this draw here with all these mountains here. And that's means that means that the only effective avenues to attack are here, here, and along the coast. Uh, right, I was going to put a farm there, uh, and because of that, it uh, it means that I'm not likely to see a lot of attacks, uh, and the AI really sucks at attacking over water, so. Uh, as it stands right now, I probably don't have to worry too much there. Uh, right. Uh, I wanted... Uh, oh yeah, I was building up in there. Uh, okay, now what to do here? Well, I'll send the guy over there. Uh... You know, more farms, of course. Yeah, always with the farms. Uh, so I have uh, several more uh, traders here. Uh, now I'll send the trader somewhere. I said I wanted one in uh, Sheffield, so I'll do that. Uh, right. Uh, farm there. Okay, so yeah, that's an important thing. You can't neglect uh, tile improvements. Uh, if you leave it too long, you'll end up falling behind, and uh, that's that's an important thing to uh, 
Okay, so an advance on civil engineering. Um, oh, okay, so I, I guess the... Oh, yeah, the dock came up, right. Um, lighthouse would be a good idea, so I'm going to do that. Um, I really should get another builder out over here. Uh, that's what I should do. Uh, I'm letting my gold accumulate for the moment uh, in case I get attacked or something like that. Um, or I really need to buy something urgently. So I, I think I'll, I'll build two more traders. Uh, I think that's, that's all I'll need for the moment. Oh, a great person. So a great engineer. Ancient walls and medieval walls in the city. Well... Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to take the uh, engineer anyway. Um, right. Uh, trader. Uh, okay. And I don't have the trading post there, so I'll send the trader there. And... I guess I'll uh, build the extra walls there, and I'll do it... Th I don't need to there, really. And here and here, I think. Uh, anyway, moving along. Oh, I got uh, square rigging comes up this turn. Uh, so that will be, uh, that will be useful. Uh, Gunpowder advanced. Okay. Uh, now... Uh, banking would be good from a uh, money point of view. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to send... Uh, oh, what, where am I? Uh, Manchester. Uh, right. Uh, right, so I'm going to need a population of 13 to do anything significant there. Uh... Well, I'm going to get another builder out. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. And here, uh, same deal, I think. Another builder. So I, I just I want to get everything improved. Now I can just dump this guy to another city immediately. It's kind of cool that the great people can teleport. Uh, I'll take the embassy uh, simply because uh, uh, that's a little bit of extra gold. Um, actually, what I'll probably do, is, I'm going to go and set embassies with these guys, actually. Uh, since everybody's happy or neutral, they should accept them. Uh, no, I can't do that yet. I have to finish diplomatic service. Right. Uh, okay, London. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a traitor. Uh... Okay, and here, ancient walls is complete. Um, commercial hub, no. Uh, these things will take too long at the moment, so I'm going for the water mill first. Uh, and trading here, send the trader to Bristol. That covers all of my cities. Uh, for the moment, uh, so I'll build the extra walls there, and I'll do it over here as well. That's going to uh, give me some tourism later as well uh, for the medieval walls. Gilgamesh, huh? Um, okay. So what's the situation looking like here? Egypt is now leading on science. Um, so I'm going to need to uh, work a bit here to catch up on uh, science. Uh, right. Um, I'll put up a builder there. I'll just uh, get that guy over there. 
Uh, one thing about Civ 6 is the great people, they can't be captured or killed, so uh, no, I'm not going to do that. So you don't have to worry about protecting them, but they will get dumped back to their spawn point or something like that if you, uh, if you let them get attacked, so you want to avoid that. Uh, okay, so this is London here. I probably, I, I need the uh, dockyard, so I'm going to build the dockyard there. Uh, ideally, I want that and the industrial zone, but uh, yeah, it'll, it'll wait a little bit longer. Uh, right, now here. Huh, what to build here? Well, what's the terracotta army do? Uh, all units get a promotion level. Archaeologists can enter foreign lands. You know what? Sure. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give a shot at it. I may not get it, but, you know, that would be fine now. Uh, it's six gold, five gold and two production to send it to Binos Ares. So I'm going to do that. Uh, okay, so I'll uh, use the last charge of that engineer. Let's take a look at the great people that are coming. Uh unmet players one per turn I've got okay so uh, Eiffel um, Egypt is ahead there I've got 8.4 okay yeah uh, Egypt's ahead there I, there's a couple of these guys that you really want if you're going for the space uh, space race victory uh, so you really need to pay attention uh, okay, I'm going to send the guy over there, fill in another farm. Uh, as if I can get these cities growing fast, uh, I'll uh, catch up quite a bit on the science. Uh, okay, so when banking comes up, um, let's see here. I'm going to, since there's nothing better to do, I'm going to do campus research. That gives a science boost. Um, repeat that one. Right, okay, what to do here? Okay. More trading possibilities. Okay. Uh, I want... What do I want? Astronomy leads to scientific theory. Yeah, scientific theory would be good. Printing would also be good. Okay. Uh, lighthouse, maybe, but first, a frigate. Now, I can, uh, fill in some spots here. This gives me, that's faith. Okay, so I'll, uh, build the, build mines on the hills there. Uh, you know, there's a distinct possibility I'll end up behind on this here, so I, I definitely need to uh, pay attention. Uh, a mine there. Okay, we'll take the delegation there. Um, and I'll take that delegation as well. I don't bother sending delegations unless I really need to know what another uh, civilization's up to. 
uh, I will send, I think I will send embassies, but uh, uh, there's really no particularly big reason that they're helpful uh, for the most part, unless you're going to get into spying and so on. Uh, at least at this level, anyway. Uh, okay, so that's Bristol. Put up a bank there. Uh, so I'm I'm just going through up, you know, adding the upgrading the uh, tiles here. Um, right now, what are my options here? Well, I want to go this way build farms here so I, I need Sheffield to grow so I should farm the rice there and uh, this tile I'm not sure which city has it but uh, it's certainly uh, gonna be useful to improve it uh, right and then up here uh, up here farm there uh, okay somebody built a wonder who's this Sumeria okay uh, now uh, you know what? I'm just gonna blast through those uh, texts there Uh, right. Barbarians. Ooh, fun. Okay. Well, I'll take a pot shot at them. And... Uh, bank, right? Forbidden City might be worth taking a, a run at here, actually. Um, but that's a, a little bit inconvenient. Um, that one's actually, uh, this one, uh, extra charge for great engineers is actually that one I'm going to try for. Uh, okay, update that. Build a uh, right over here. Yeah, was this barbarian here stopped me from building that uh, frigate actually. Um, annoyingly enough, the bugger uh, decided to uh, pillage. Okay, so I'll come over here. I'll improve the uh, uh, tobacco there as well. Well, there's nothing more to pillage there, so you'll have to move. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, right. Mass production. Uh, musket man. Astronomy. I'm going to get through the gunpowder uh, text as well. Uh, Humanism is a good one uh, to get the museums. Uh, right, and here it's a lighthouse completed. Uh, do the granary so that the place will grow. Okay. Nothing much more for this bugger to pillage. Um, I think I'm going to let the uh, mausoleum finish. Um, okay. 
Well, yeah, he could pillage there. Uh, right. What to build here? Uh, uh, theater or... Uh, theater, I think. Yeah, I'll put it there. Uh, repeat that. Um, right. Are those truffles improved? Come on. It doesn't look like. Well, I'll find out. Okay, definitely improve that. Uh, move that over there. Yeah, I wish they'd fix that bug with uh, actions that should be available that aren't. Um, it's really annoying. So we pillage some more. Uh, I really wish that wouldn't force center when you click on the... Uh, um, come on. On the uh, ranged attack icon. Um, right. Uh, here. Uh, now... That seems like a good option. Uh, so I'm using shift enter to uh, force to the next turn on that. Okay, a great person, a merchant, 200 gold, two envoys. That's kind of cool. Uh, well, I'll uh, grab that. Uh, okay, that's a merchant. Activate him. And envoys. Uh, Okay. Uh, so I'm going to finish out the wonder here. Okay, got Terracotta Army. That's kind of cool. Um, right. Uh, so what here? Uh, I might go for Forbidden City here. But I'm going to have to kill a wheat tile to do it. Uh, you know, I think it's worth it. Uh, okay, so I can take a uh, promotion there. Uh, that was not improved. Okay, good. Um, and I can take a take a promotion there, and I can take a promotion there. Oh, I can upgrade it too. Um, I'll take the promotion first on all of these things. Uh, right. Well, upgrade there. Okay, first. I clicked on the wrong thing. Um, okay. Promotion. Promotion. Uh, promotion. Okay, I think that's all of them. Okay, 
So hopefully I don't get sniped on that other wonder here. Okay, so this is interesting. I'll take the open borders out. That's an okay deal. So I'll take it. Uh, generally a straight across one for one uh, uh, trade on luxuries is fairly reasonable. So, um, okay, so I've got an improvement there. Uh, choose research. Um, right. Uh, mass production. Uh, I'll alert these guys. This guy I'll upgrade. Um, so two more turns. Hopefully I get that wonder in London. Uh, right. Uh, one more turn, and bam, I got it. Okay. Uh, so, production here. I need to repair the uh, dockyard, obviously. Uh, what do I get? Yeah, I'm going to activate that guy. Now, I wonder if you can get, if the double activation does anything. Uh, extra. Um, right, so I can build the lighthouse. I'll finish the frigate, though. Um... What's the passive ability? Yeah. Okay, so I'll do this one more turn, get the frigate, which I'll pair up with the uh, uh, with the uh, no, admiral. Okay, so I'll pair them up. And I'm going to go through here and establish embassy. Uh, right. Uh, establish embassy. Uh, establish embassy. Establish embassy. Now this has the advantage that you get to see uh, their uh, capitals. You get some visibility around their capitals, so uh, or at least that you can see them. Um, so you see over here. Uh, anyway, uh, production here. Uh, what I need is a builder. Because I need to repair the uh, fishing boats there. Uh, production here. Uh, repair the uh, dockyard. And uh, here. Uh, right, so I'm at the top of the world here. I uh, wonder where that uh, barbarian came from. I was just going to go one more turn. Anyway, this will be the last one. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to leave the uh, Admiral behind. Um, okay, so research. Um, I think, what does industrialization give? Yeah, industrialization. Uh, and then production here. Uh, lighthouse. And here. 
Uh, you know, I'm just going to do that there. And the production here, repair the lighthouse. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to leave the uh, Admiral behind because the uh, boats can move faster. Uh, right, so that's a trader and the builder. So I can go over here. Now, I'm going to call it a part here that's coming, that's right around 45 minutes, I think. So uh, that's it there here. That's turn 186. Uh, so I'm going to save the game here. So that was 52 turns. So uh, that's all for this time. Uh, I've got a pretty good start on uh, solidifying my empire. So come uh, next part, uh, hopefully... Uh, I'll get far enough up the science tree that I'll be able to make some real progress on some other things. Anyway, uh, that's all for this part. I'll see you back for part four. And if you watched this far, thanks for watching.